the Detroit Lions against the Dallas Cowboys. And I guess the big question here is how legitimately anemic is the Dallas Cowboys uh, offense? I was looking at this game. I was thinking, you know, if Dallas wins, it's probably a low scoring game where their defense dominates and their offense uh, still doesn't put up that many points. If they lose, it's because they give up a bunch of points to Detroit. But either way, Dallas's offense maybe is just something that we should assume is going to be anemic. Uh, uh, you know, week in and week out. I have to assume that they're going to give the ball more to Ezekiel Elliott here, which is probably what they should do. And if they do do that, that'll also inhibit scoring. So I'm thinking in this game, I don't know uh, as far as the side is concerned, uh, which I would be leaning towards, but I'm thinking Dallas team total under. Would you disagree with that? You think Dallas's offense is better long-term than uh, what we've seen from them so far? I think Dallas team total or team total for the game under is probably good perspective because I don't yeah. think this game is going to be a shootout because what we've seen, Pete, from Dallas is they're not going to engage in shootouts. They have a decent defense out there. Now, Sean Lee's not going to play, and we all know the stigma around Sean Lee not playing for the Dallas Cowboys. They tend to not do very well on defense. I don't think that's really going to play in this one. We know Matthew Stafford can throw some interceptions, but I think now that Dallas is back under the microscope, you're going to want to hand the ball off more to Zeke that's going to be able to move the clock. You know, Detroit's not at home. They're going to be heading on the road in this one. So if I'm looking at an over what are we opening up again, right? 44, 43 and a half across the board. This game to me, Pete, is more likely to go under than over the total. But I think Dallas can hang. I actually like the number that shows a little bit of respect for Dallas. Opens up at three and a half. Now you're seeing three out there. Not a lot, maybe percentage-wise, 30 to 40% coming in here on Dallas. I think this is a pretty good situation for Dallas to actually win the football game. But I do think it's going to be lower scoring. Yeah, yeah, it, it opened at three and a half for Detroit. Now it is uh, down to three, which I guess is uh, is understandable. So again, the way I'm looking at the plan on this one is, uh, you know, uh, Dallas team total under. And then as far as the side is concerned, it's just strength versus strength. Dallas is uh, uh, defense against uh, Detroit's offense, which again, well, we talked about this in the beginning of the season. Uh, I thought that Detroit was going to have a significantly improved offense this year. Matt Stafford has never had anything to work with. It seems like this year he finally has some, uh, you know, some, some, some uh, weapons around him to work with. Who do you, the strength versus strength here who do you think comes out on top of that battle Detroit offense versus Dallas defense I think the Dallas defense can come in on top. I think they're going to be home. I think they're hungry. I think they've been playing pretty good football throughout the season. It's the offense that's the problem that's not coming through for them and putting them in bad situations. I actually like the Dallas defense a little bit here, Pete. Mm -hmm. So you're leaning. You would be right as of right now. You'd be leaning Dallas minus three as opposed. I would to be Detroit leaning Dallas three. at home. Yeah. If, if you yep at the three, I think it's a good number there. Maybe three and a half. You might be leaning a little bit towards Detroit. But right now, if it's minus three, I would be taking the Dallas Cowboys here at home. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to our channel. Now we've put a lot of work into producing all these free videos, so please help us out and keep all our content free for you forever by simply liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. Now not to mention a visit to our industry leading website will warm the hearts of all our SBR employees, especially myself. Now the links are over there to the left, uh, so do check those out. Thanks for watching.